Hello everyone. Hello guys. Good morning. Yeah, it's morning here. Uh, it's Friday. We're in Texas. It's got to be like 85 degrees right now. But it's not bad. No, it's not too bad. There's a breeze. It's going to get hotter later, of course. But today we're just, what we're going to talk about. My wife's going to say a few things about OFWs and the struggles they go through. And uh, what she's been through is an OFW also. So, you know. And then I might mention a few things about healthcare here versus the Philippines. Or that could be for another vlog. But uh, was it difficult for you as an OFW to get your paperwork and stuff to go somewhere else? Or? Um, it's difficult though because like sometimes you have to support yourself but there's an agency who could help you to go abroad like especially in the Middle East that they can support your financial and stuff um, for me my first experience was in the Middle East in Kuwait so I don't have to pay anything just for my allowance to provide my passport too but um, I have to go on training in Manila for three months and waiting for my visa. Oh, it was three months? Yes, yeah, three months. Wow. And once you, you done with your training, PESDA and stuff at the agency, and plus in the agency, there's some rules that you need to be followed. You have to be wake up early, do couple stuff, because that's the part of the training. Because once you get there in the other country, you have to do the same thing, but you know, um, they're gonna teach you how to do it and stuff, and, and the test that to you do the same thing like cooking, cleaning up, fixing bed sheets and stuff. Um, yeah, I've been staying there in Manila for three months and waiting for the visa, and after that one, you have to go in the Middle East and start working. And for that, when I, I mean, like, for uh, it's my first time to go abroad in the Middle East, of course, I got nervous and stuff. And you don't know who your employer is, right? Expect. No. You don't know who you're working for until no. you get there. Mm -hmm. But it's in the in my contract, but I don't really see my employer and what they look like and stuff. But in the Middle East, before you go abroad, you hear many stuff about um, people, how they act there, because it's a Muslim country. Mostly people saying like, you know, people are not nice or dangerous country because it's the Middle East. Like, as for now or nowadays, we really hear a lot, a lot of stuff going on in the Middle East. And you were in Kuwait, right? Yeah, I was in Kuwait, there. yeah. I mean, not all the people are bad in the Middle East. Some are good, some are bad, you know. So you can get a good employer, or you sometimes get, you can get a bad yeah, employer. Yeah, so it's, you don't really know what to expect, what it looks like, or how they act. Because they're in, you know, that's your employer, but you have to be... Don't sometimes, or even like in Hong Kong, you got to FaceTime to see who your employer is? Yeah. Sometimes? So, on my second abroad is in, uh, in Hong Kong. So I get to see my employer, we get like face-to-face -face interview and stuff, and then for the first time it's my first employer in hong kong and then i got hired and i got to see the grandma and the mom but not the baby they are good people in hong kong too but like the thing is my employer like she want me to do like all the work as what i expected but they don't give me a day off like i have to work on my feet all the time like looks like 24 hours and I get so so tired and I have two uh, elderly people that I care the grandma and the that's grandpa Hong Kong. yeah that's yeah. the parents of the mom when it's a vacation time they're gonna leave for vacation in China so I have another early people coming that's the mom and dad of my uh, my other boss so Actually, it's kind of difficult because there's uh, they have two houses, so I clean up two houses every day, and it's kind of tired. And I have two older people, and plus there's a kid that I taking good care, sending to school. You have to do the grocery shopping. Plus too, right? grocery shopping, cleaning stuff, like you know, washing clothes, everything. I get really, really tired, and I get like it should be like the day off is once, once a week, but. 
my employer talked to me like if I can do it like at least once a month because they really need help. Actually, I can say no, but I did say yes because I really need the money and I want to have savings. Being an overseas worker in the other country is not really easy. People see you in the Philippines once you go abroad, they think that you got like a lot of money. You yeah. don't know that how you struggle there, like you're saving your money, plus you don't go in a fancy, fancy restaurant just to eat. You're saving your money like, oh, I just want to stay here, like instead of going to the mall. But some other, you know, every people are different. But for me, I was trying to save money instead of going to the mall, buying expensive stuff. I did not do that one. What I did is I just stay at the mall like on the top of the mall there's like you know you can sit down and eat like i just get spend my rest. day there yeah rest. and get some rest because we'd facetime and she'd be laying on her plastic thing with her food and whatever yeah i don't really do like shopping like most people they like some of the overseas go shopping like that one i, I did once in a while but i was thinking i want to save money and, um, you built your tiny house. I built my tiny house too. It's a blessing that, you know, I'm proud of myself about that one. But here's the thing. Oh, there's, overseas. here's the downside. Like, like we just said, she built her house. This is about when you go back home, right? Yeah. So let's see. I finished my contract and I have a little bit savings on my, my, on my, um, my bank account. So I go back home there with the money and stuff and then after a few months I got broke because you don't expect like the money will stay longer there some other overseas put in a business some other people good in a business some other not and I'm not good in business too so I put my savings but every day I have to spend money you know buy some food but yeah, and people Bye. look at you like you have a lot of money. Yeah, right? and once you came back, people were gonna visit you like, where's my pasalubong and stuff, blah, 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 yeah, chocolate yeah, yeah. and stuff. Like, you don't even think about it. Like, I, I, I've i worked for this one. I'm not going for a boat just for you just to give away like chocolates and stuff. Like, you don't know what it looks like to work yeah. in overseas. And people look at you like you got a lot of money in your head, like, you know, like, hey, Libri, Libri, <laughs> like asking you, you know, for snack and stuff. It doesn't go like that one, because even though me, when I go back home in Kuwait or in Hong Kong, after a few months, I got broke. I don't have nothing. I saw a I picture of her when she got savings. back from Kuwait. She looked so stressed. And there was all these people around her. I'm like, you know, they're following her because they think she's loaded. You know? Yeah, and I was... <laughs> That time I was trying to hide because like people coming yes, in, in my house, where's, where's Jessica, where's my pasalubong and stuff. It's not my responsibility to give you a pasalubong, <laughs> chocolates or money. Like I'm not giving all away this one. Instead, I save that money like while I'm staying in the Philippines, I have money. But that money will not be there. Plus, you're a good daughter. You supported your parents. Yeah, I helped Plus my your sisters. And yeah, brothers. I helped my mom, God my brothers and sisters. Thank like, you. you know, while I'm staying in the Philippines, I'm spending money too. Like, you know, you have to eat. Like, yeah, you have to give your mom and you have to buy your personal stuff, of course. Plus, the sad thing is you don't have, you have money in your pocket, but you don't have income coming yeah. in your bank account so that's yeah, why like, it's all done that's just your savings so yeah so the next thing you know you run out and, and broke and after that one like oh my gosh you're gonna be stressing out and thinking again like um i should go back and work overseas again. yeah and so during that time. time we were talking and i still couldn't get my password at the time she says well i can't wait i have to go back to work and next thing you know she was struggling to get raise money to go to work in Hong Kong. Yeah, because in Hong Kong that time we have to, um, this time when I went to Hong Kong, it's not free. There's a payment. Oh yeah, and, and between and her me and her, like- It's a lot, it's a lot yeah. of money too. So. Yeah, Jessica never asked me for now, but I send her allowance once yeah. in a while. Because I had my own bills, my two daughters I was raising. But uh, it was a long process for us, but 
for her and next thing you know she's going to hong kong i'm like oh lord am i ever going to see this woman <laughs> well i have to work for yeah. myself and for but my she, family she was good like that because filipino is very helpful when it comes to family we always think about our family because yeah. it's really tough like you don't have nothing in some sad <clears throat> sad thing in reality to people especially your relatives it should be like e supporting you and yeah. giving you support while you're working abroad and making yeah. proud of you but instead of doing that one they're looking at me down so sometimes i get feel like hurt sometimes once in a while when they say like bad stuff to me like but it's it's kind of sad you know they are my family i mean i was not I was not talking about my mom and dad and brother sister, but some of my relatives do. Yeah, that aunts and uncles or yeah. something like that. But. So I, I don't need to keep myself being stressed, what I hear from them. All I did is work for myself and he help my own family, you know. I don't care about that thing anyways. Yeah. But I guess it's normal sometimes, but... All FWs are all over the world. I worked in hospitals and in the OR, and a lot of the women I worked with were from the Philippines. I mean, uh, either they came with their husband or they came whatever type of visa, work visa. But there's a ton of nurses here. Like in the Philippines, they're missing nurses because they all go somewhere else. You know, people go to Canada, different things like that. But, you know, this is a shout out to OFWs and all your struggles. And Yeah. I mean, you know people that have been working overseas for years started building their house 15 years ago and it's not even finished that's right you know and, and when it's you, not easy to work overseas yeah. while building a house and supporting your family too. yeah and if you come home and then your house say your house is done you got your savings then your savings gone you got your house but how do you live yeah some other are putting the money in the business some other yeah that's some started like, businesses yeah so, they're good but so you have something to fall back on i'm not really <laughs> good in business too i'm good in working with different country but when it comes to yeah. business i'm not honestly i'm not really good at but we just you know we wanted to talk about this i know a lot of you we have a good filipino audience um, yeah i'm so proud for all the filipinos who worked and sacrificed their, sli their life in working abroad i know it's not easy but like um you are guys the greatest hero in your family because you guys helping a lot so much yeah. in spending your time even though it's really really hard you sacrifice for all that time to work far away from your family just to give them yeah. a good future so well, that's it and thank you guys i'm paying and shout out you want to say anything in besides the color or no okay Okay. Well, I want to say thank you. Salamat sa pagtanaw sa among video. Ang pag-follow sa among YouTube account. Salamat kayo guys. O magkita-kita tapon sa sunod na mga video. Bye!